Okay, let's get more on the uh, situation in the United States. We're going to speak to Helen Barneswell, who's a senior writer on infectious diseases for the health news website STAT. And she was due to attend a conference on Monday on retroviruses and infections, along with 4,000 other scientists from around the world. But it's actually been cancelled. Um, it's thought that the universities and institutes involved were worried in part by the prospect of such a mass gathering. And Helen joins us live now from Boston. Thank you for joining us here on BBC News. First Hi. off, what was the reaction like to this conference being called off? Was there general agreement? It's not the first in the United States to be called off. There was a big medical conference in Denver a few days ago that uh, was called off virtually as people were arriving in town. So I, I don't think it came as much as of a surprise to anyone. And it's not in this case, it's not actually being called off. It's going to be virtual. They're going to be uh, broadcasting their sessions on the the conference's website and but nobody is going to be gathering together in the conference center up the road from me what's america like in terms of reaction to this coronavirus because here in the uk we're starting to see sort of panic buying and stockpiling at home of health products and food what's going on in the states very similar things i've been noticing some pretty empty shelves in the grocery stores that I visit uh, lately, um, and the, the holes are typically around things like can, tinned tomatoes or or chickpeas or things like that that people feel that they can put aside and use whenever. So I think it it really is you know making an impression on people. People are worried. I get a lot of email from people asking me for advice, which I can't really offer, and I or I can't even keep up with. But it, people are worried. Yeah, uh, on the subject of advice, there has been some criticism towards the Trump administration because um, people have said it hasn't been clear enough. I mean, we've heard a lot about all these masks that were available, but there seems to be an issue with the testing kits. Right. Yes, there was, there's was. there been a big problem in this country. Um, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention designed a kit. It was available, I think, starting in early February. Uh, that's the process that normally happens here when something new arises. CDC develops a test and then they send it out to state and local labs. And those labs have to show that they can successfully run the test before they start to use it themselves. Many of them couldn't for some reason or other. It worked in the CDC's hands, but not in theirs. And as a consequence, there have been weeks of delay getting states up and running to be able to do tests. Most of them now are at the point where they can do it. But as a consequence, uh, so far, you know, probably under 2,000 people in this country have been tested, which is about a tenth, I think, of what the, the United Kingdom has done. So, you know, the, the sense really is that, that while people know that the virus is spreading in Seattle and, and Northern California and places, no one's really clear how much of it is spreading in the country and where. Yeah, and uh, just talking about numbers, um, Helen, I'm just going to update you. We've just heard from Washington State that there has been another death. So this is the 15th death um, from the coronavirus. And this, again, in that hot spot in Washington State. What's the general feeling like within the, co the science community there over coronavirus? Is, there, is it panic? Is it calm? No, I don't think it's panic, but I think people are quite concerned. I mean, this is a real event. And um, while it, I mean, Part of the reason the deaths are so high in Seattle is likely because it got into a long-term care facility. So, you know, among a population of elderly people who are very, at, you know, at risk from this virus. So you might see a higher death rate there early on because it's effectively infecting people who are very vulnerable to it. Um, in terms of, you know, the scientific community, people are really worried. I mean, there's been a lot of work over the last 10 or 20 years uh, doing pandemic preparedness. There was big concern about a decade or 15 years ago that there would be a bird flu pandemic and people did a lot of planning. But, you know, they're having to dust off all those plans and figure out how to function. And, and frankly, you know, 
doing it at a time when everybody in the world is trying to do it. So, you know, hospitals are trying to put in masks at a time or, that, you know, those respirators that you that healthcare workers are supposed to wear at a time when everybody else is trying to get them. So there, you know, there are real effects of this thing right now. Okay. Helen Barnes, well, thank you very much. Thank you.